Continuing in the halachot of tefillat tashlumin, when due to circumstances beyond a person's control, they missed a tefillah, for example, they missed alvit, they were not able to pray the amida of alvit, then they say the amida twice in shahrit. The question is, what is the first amida for and what is the second amida for? So the first amida the person has to have in mind, that's for the amida of shahrit. The second amida that is the tefillah tashlumin, and that is for arvit that he missed. What if a person did not know the halakha, made a mistake, and he prays two amidas, but the first amida he has in mind for arvit, and the second amida he has in mind for shahrit. Le halakha, he has to pray a third Amida. And that third Amida is for Arvit. Because always the first Amida has to be for the Tefillah you are praying. In this case, a person is praying Shahrit. Therefore, the first Amida he has to have in mind, that is for Shahrit. The second Amida, that is for what he missed, and that is for Arvit. Now, how close together when a person does, when a person has to do Tefillah Tashlumin, he has to pray the Amida twice. One for the current tefillah he's in, and one for the tefillah that he missed. How close together do they have to be? So according to the halakha, ideally, they have to be one after the other. A person says the first amidah for the tefillah he's praying, then immediately he begins the second amidah for the tefillah that he missed. What if a person says, let's say it's shahrit, he says, if I pray the second Amida right away, I will miss the Hazara, I will miss the Kedusha, I'll miss perhaps Vidui, Nefilata Paim, I'll miss Kaddish. I don't want to pray the second Amida right away. Is there any wiggle room? So according to Halakha, while the second Amida has to follow immediately after the first Amida, if a person insists and says he wants to hear Hazara, he wants to hear the Kedusha, he may wait till after the Hazara, he may even wait till after Vidui Nefilat Apayim according to Chacham David Yosef. Meaning the wiggle room that a person has, really they should be one after the other. There should be no hefsek. Certainly a person can't say, I'll pray it later, I'll go to work, I'll go learn Torah, I'll go to my Habrutai, can't do that. But if a person insists and he wants to hear the Hazara and, the, and he wants to participate in the Kedusha and say Vidui Nefilat Apayim in Kaddish together with the Kahal, he may push off saying the second Amidah till after Vidui Nefilat Apayim. Interestingly, Chacham Ovadia Yosef, this is what we just said is the Psak of Chacham David Yosef, Chacham Ovadia Yosef is even more lenient and he says a person has even more wiggle room. That while they both agree, Chacham Ovadia and Chacham David his son, they both agree that one Amidah should be after the, uh, ideally one Amidah should be after the other without any hefsek. However, according to Chacham Ovadia, he is more lenient. A person, according to him, a person has more wiggle room. And if he wants to wait to the end of Tefillah, he wants to push off saying the second Amidah to the end of Tefillah. He wants to pray properly with the Kahal. He wants to say, he wants to be participant in the Hazara, in the Kedusha, Vidu Nefilat Apayim, Kaddish, Ashreu, Valetzion, and the rest of Shahrit. And he doesn't want to say the second Amidah until the end of Shahrit. According to Chacham Ovadia, he is more lenient, he, a person has more wiggle room, and he may push off the second Amidah until the end of Tefillah.